How many of you know that the Celtic deity Cernunos, or you may be familiar with the Cernunos, or the Greek deity Pan, how many of you know that this is another god of cycles? He is born on the winter solstice and dies on the summer solstice, which was not too long ago. So I guess at the end of Cernunos' sacrifice last month, CERN is scheduled to rev up their engines for run three. Okay, so Tuesday, the 5th of July, 2022, at 1600 to 1745 CEST, they will be running this experiment live, by the way, tomorrow morning on their social media platforms. This is the launch of the LHC Run 3. A mere day after the 10th anniversary of the discovery of the Higgs boson celebrations at CERN, the LHC will make the promise of a bright future for Higgs research a reality, breaking a new energy world record of 13.6 trillion electron volts. In its first stable beam collisions, these collisions will mark the start of data taking for the new physics season called Run 3. So look, they're going to be having some meetings, some conferences, and a few ceremonies. This is kind of a big deal to them. And so after our fireworks here in the States, CERN is going to have their own fireworks. So first of all, nobody's opening any portals. Okay. There are portals all over the place and you don't need a multi-billion dollar machine to open them. They are dissecting or splitting open particles that would not exist if they didn't have the collisions. So they admit to this black hole concept, which isn't really what it is because black holes, they don't know what those are either. Nobody's bringing demons over to this world. They are already here. You've been living with them your whole life. Yes, actual beings. Yeah, maybe we get an earthquake or two, or maybe a couple of volcanoes blow up, but hey, we will get a little bit closer to understanding ourselves and the universe. Isn't that what we all want, huh? <laughs> this is just another ritual, and we all know that these collisions affect matter outside of containment. You know, the more they do this, the more you wonder, why is this necessary? You can't tell me that they're banging particles together to understand something that is nothing more than just a thought. Am I right, folks? This is all based on the theory of the Big Bang. A theory they have never been able to even complete. So no, they are not doing all this for that stupid reason. So you should know that the LHC, Large Hadron Collider, has been back up and running since April. They've been colliding protons at 450 billion electron volts, but since then, they have been preparing with all the upgrades on machinery, upgrades on the computer systems at the detectors, upgrades to the complex. They have been preparing to run with more power. This will increase the number of collisions, which will increase the amount of antimatter produced. This increases the number of various particles that can be studied and so you have more data points to look at 
and compare and dissect. So I want to go slow. And I want to talk about something that happened some years back in August of 2016. And that is the mock ritual sacrifice that took place on the CERN campus in front of the statue of Shiva. Now, whether this ritual was fake or real, it happened on their property. And they said, oh, well, we have so many different people who come here from all over the world. Some people just took a prank a little too far. That's all. Nothing to see here. And then everybody said, okay. Now, looking at the video several times over, I noticed that for something that was just supposed to be a prank, who was the prank for? Do people just role play as Satanists for no audience? The only recording is from a guy who was in building number 40. So they're saying he was part of the prank? Hmm, possibly. They had the right number of people there. I think there was eight, not including the woman. They were standing in what looked like the right positions, that ritual circle with the eight stars surrounding the center and the idol at the front or top of the circle where Shiva is. Except I don't know of any human sacrifice rituals that involve the deity Shiva. However, after looking at the statue a bit closer, I remembered there is another deity that looks like Shiva and has multiple arms and is stepping on someone. And that is Kali, a deity who required animal sacrifice. And as I understand it, people way back in the day would include human sacrifices in with those rituals. When you look at the representations of Shiva versus Kali, Kali looks to be represented more in the manner as you see it at CERN, especially with the headdress that seems absent on Shiva, but very apparent on Kali. This is Kali dancing. Dancing on Shiva. Interesting, right? And Kali, you know, back in 2015, a four-year-old boy was sacrificed to Kali. You can Google that story if you want to learn more. So, this still does fit the template for a legit ritual. I mean, what happens in the video is pretty quick. We don't know how long these people were there before or after the recording. So if there is no body, really, there is no investigation. And for eight or nine people, or even ten people, including the cameraman in the building, that is a whole lot of people to get in on a prank. And get robes for everybody and a fake knife that tugs at the clothing as you pull away. You know, when you actually stick a knife into something and pull it out, it tugs on the fabric or material that it was stuck into. Just saying. This ritual can be looked as being just as real as it is fake. Because there is no body and no one identified. So here we are. Do you guys remember CERN's witch experiment? Huh? Yeah. Witch hunt nearing end at CERN. For Halloween, meet CERN's very own witch experiment at Isold. As it nears the end of its data analysis. This was published October 30th, 2015. This witch's lair is the Isold facility which produces a variety of radioactive ion beams for many experiments in the fields of nuclear and atomic physics, solid-state physics, materials, science, and life sciences. The unique source of low-energy beams allows scientists to study the rarest atomic nuclei. More than 450 researchers are currently working on about 90 experiments. Looking for such new physics is looking for a complete unknown. You could say it's similar to witchcraft. It takes something akin to that to find it. 
portals, three days of darkness. That's what happened in Egypt. Other than that, there is no three days of darkness coming. If you are following biblical prophecy, that is not what it says. Remember, CERN only does what God allows them to do. It's clearly a modern day Tower of Babel. And stupid humans were already given dominion over the whole earth. Not a section of the earth, not half of the earth, the whole earth. What more do we want? Oh, oh, we gotta go to the moon. We gotta claim this moon in the name of the United States. Well, we weren't given dominion over the moon. We weren't given dominion over Mars or the sun or anything else outside this planet. So none of that is going to happen. CERN is not what you think. Remember, folks, the abyss is opened by an angel with keys given to them that is God's doing. It, it says nothing about man opening the abyss, does it? I don't know any man named Abaddon. So why do I keep hearing this? You guys know what the veil is? It's nothing more than a, a rule. It's a spiritual boundary. You guys know you can summon demons to your backyard. You can summon objects in the sky, lights in the sky. Oh, you didn't know you could do that. And what just happened in San Diego at the end of a magic month? Lights in the sky. Nobody needed CERN for that. Look, people at CERN, most of these people are just scientists. Many are students and some children. You have a very rich influence, however, from what I believe are cult entities and secret societies who have their own agendas and are only willing to fund certain projects. So what you do actually end up with is a facility that dedicates its studies to a more narrowing agenda than when it first began. A dark influence, of course. So we will see what results of this experiment, monitor earthquakes and volcanoes for the next few days, as well as sudden shifting weather patterns, especially in areas furthest away from CERN, or should I say, the magical kingdom. That's all for now. I just wanted to give you all my thoughts on the upcoming event. I wouldn't tune into it. But you can certainly stay tuned in here. You can visit woodwardentertainment.com and the Woodward Entertainment Store. You can also follow me on Instagram at J-A-E Woodward. Everyone have a great evening on this July 4th. And as always, no matter what day it is, because I believe there was another shooting not too long after myself and others talked about this at parties and festivals and parades. Please, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon.